we've been growing Pinot Gris on the Tamuna Vineyard within the Tamuna Valley for uh, 20 years now. And I think there's always been this kind of characteristic and cult following for the wine that we're really proud of. It's located on the top terrace of our vineyard uh, in the kind of younger soils. And I think for me, the free draining nature of that soils results in quite low yield, which is critical to making our Pinot Gris have that level of concentration that perhaps others don't in the market. It has the cooling effects that come from the Southern Ocean. So whilst we do get that concentration and ripeness year on year, we make sure we have this kind of pristine acid line that comes through the wine. In terms of winemaking, whilst we look for that kind of flavour and natural acidity to be key hallmarks of this wine, there's a tiny bit of the residual silver balance, which is really, really critical for rounding out the palate. The palate. On the nose, I see kind of the Pinot Gris hallmarks of Nashi pear and that dried apricot, which are really pretty. But the palate, whilst it has that freshness, also has enough depth and flavour um, to probably accompany a wide range of white meats. And I think all in all, it's, it's got that balance of the sugar whilst you don't notice it. It's critical for kind of rounding out the palate and giving this beautiful finish, this kind of seamless, silky finish into the wine that is a hallmark of Pinot Gris and comes people coming back for more. So I hope you enjoy it.